So hello future designers. So in our previous lesson, this was what we were able to do. Um, but you can see it looks flat. Okay, so we actually want it to appear as if it's projecting out of the screen. So let's compare it to this. So you can see our button. Okay, it has some shadow. So you can see it looks as if it's projecting out of the screen. So to do that, we'll go to our project and then we'll actually work. Um, so double click. Okay, so that we have access to only the rectangle here. You have to go to effects, click on the drop shadow here. Then let's change it to, I think, uh, let's use 3. I'll change it to 11. I'll change the blur to 20. Okay. And uh, let's see. So you can see we have some small shadow here. If we preview it here, you can see we have. Let's go back here. Oops, uh, the shadow isn't showing. Uh, I'll auto refresh. I can use auto restart. Lose the internet. Okay, so let's go back to our project and then you can see some shadow. Okay, let's check the shadow for this rectangle. Okay, so the drop shadow effects here we have 31125. So I'll do the same for this. Making sure I'm selecting only the rectangle. Okay, so we have 31120 and then the spread should be 5. Okay, so this is going to help us to distribute the shadow. Okay, so the X okay, is actually going to move. The shadow to this direction the y is going to move the shadow downwards okay which is why we want the shadow downwards this is why we set our y to have a greater value as 11 and then our x is 3 okay so you can see there's some let's see, there's some shadow here so we're going to do same for this one too okay so double click just so we have access only the ellipse and not this only the ellipse so we click on effect click on the drop shadow three um, our wire is going to be 11 our blur is going to be 25 so you can see the shadow taking effect here our spread let's use uh, five so you can see some subtle shadow here so if you preview it let's see we hope okay so you can see the shadow you can see the shadow let's do same for this icon um, that's the ellipse here and then uh, it should be done so effects click on the drop shadow we have um three we'll do here 11 do the blur 20 and then we'll set here to five okay so now let's look at our final project uh, let's change the color here to green okay. And then that should be it so this is our final project and then thank you guys um your assignment is just to try and make sure this icon looks great okay so thank you and then see you in the next lesson um, and that should be it for today congratulations